Hi guys, this is Hero. How's everyone doing today? Ajib by the game to Aj sub Kesoho. So today I'm going over what to do if you recognize any sort of hate in your heart or your mind. Okay. So there's really only or there's two main things that cause hate. Okay. And it all boils down to also two things: identification and attachment. So mostly if you combine the two, it's what parts of your identification are you attached to? To, and I'm going to explain right now in a second. So let's just say somebody is really annoying and you hate them, okay? There's a few parts that it could trigger inside you that cause hate. So one aspect of it could be, okay, let's just say this person is annoying because they're funny, right? There's two sides of this coin. The first side is that Okay, I think that I'm funny, right? So when I see somebody else trying to be funny, right? Because I, I think I'm the funny guy. Or I think I'm a funny person, right? And I, I think the world revolves around me and things like this. This is just how the ego thinks, right? So when I see this, sometimes energetically, there's all sorts of energetic factors. But to make it simple, sometimes when I see someone else being a little funny, I could hate that. And... I'm hating that because I'm attached to that sense of humor that I provide for me, my own self. So when I see it, somebody else trying to replicate that, I instantly don't like it, right? Simil it's kind of like a similar thing to, like, if you're trying to attract someone of the opposite sex, right? If you see someone else trying to do the same thing, you could hate that. Right, because you recognize that energy in yourself, right? And you need to just accept that in either the situation, the funny thing or the attraction thing, that you are not the only person who's funny. You are not the only person that's attractive. You are not the only, right? Once you accept that, accept that this energy, it's not, I'm not special, like, right? I mean, we're all a little bit special, but it's not just I have it, I'm the best, blah, blah, blah. You, we need to accept that other people have this as well, okay? Now, another side of this coin is that somebody has something that you don't have either in a good... Okay, actually, let me, let me continue... Um, on this point real quick. Okay, so I gave an example of somebody that has something that you have that you like. Sometimes somebody can have something that that you have that you don't like and that could bring up hate. And it's actually hate stemming from your own self, but it's just showcasing itself through someone else, right? So, and that's the only way you can recognize it because obviously you, you're not, you haven't recognized the subconscious parts of yourself that you hate. Okay, so let me give you an example. Let's just go back to the funny thing, right? If somebody is funny, and let's just say they're annoying, let's just say they're 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 annoying, okay? They're just not being really funny right now, okay? So this could bring up some sense of you that, hey, maybe I want to be a funny guy, but <laughs> I'm not, I'm not that good at it or something like that, right? So when you see somebody else trying to do this, you hate them, but it's actually not you hate them. You just hate a part of yourself that you recognize inside of them. So it all kind of boils down to you, your own relationship with yourself. That's why there's a quote where it's like, I think it's like, you can't love somebody unless you love yourself. Something like this, okay? But there's this is the truth behind it, right? Like, if you don't fully accept in everything with yourself, it's literally impossible to do with other people because you're going to see yourself in other people somehow, okay? Just to give another example with uh, with the attraction thing, let's just say let's just say you're not the best at picking up people, right? Or attracting people, right? Okay. So let's just say you're not the best, and you see somebody else trying to do it. Now it's like you really don't like that. You kind of just get away from me, whatever. But it's not actually directly that person. You're recognizing a part of yourself in that person. Okay. So. I hope that made sense. Now, I gave the aspect of 
if somebody has something that you also have, either that you're attached to and that you like, or that you really don't like. Okay. Now, moving forward with the, um, if somebody has something that you don't have, okay, how this could cause hate and what to do. So, okay, first of all, just real quick, boiling back to that last point, the key is obviously to accept the first half, accept that other people have this thing too, and that you might not be special, etc. And the second half is accept that for like, let's just say you're not the most funniest or the best uh, looking person or something like that. You can just accept that within yourself to remove the hate in yourself so that you don't indirectly hate other people for having those qualities that you recognize that they also have that you have that you don't like okay now moving on if you see someone that has some qualities that you don't have okay so there's the aspect that you that they have something that you don't have that you like and there's an aspect that they have something that you don't have that you don't like okay so i'll start with the aspect of they have something that you don't have, but that you like. Let's say somebody's really funny. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use the same example so you can kind of see, and then you can kind of really fully understand two examples, the funny and the attraction thing. So that way, any example that you have in your own life, you can kind of really hopefully hit all these four corners. Okay. I like the way I phrase that. And then, uh, okay, so let's just say somebody's really funny right you you might not be that funny right so this person has something that you don't have that you like you can hate them and it kind of boils back to you hating yourself right you don't like that you're not funny you don't like that people are not giving you all the attention and stuff like that so the answer, the root solution is similar to what I just gave in the most previous examples, which is if somebody has something that you have that you don't like, right? This is kind of, this is kind of just showcasing what you don't like about yourself, but in a different way. Somebody has the opposite. So somebody is funny, right? Somebody, uh, let's just say somebody is attractive, right? Let's just say some, you like this girl, you got no luck. And, or let's just say there's a guy and somebody else comes girl or guy and they're able to just pick it up like that right you don't like that you can't do that and so that's recognizing the hate within yourself right so when you do that now okay it just exposes that hate that you have about yourself in a different way so you just need to accept that right accept that you're not funny accept that you're not the best looking whatever now if somebody has something that you don't have that you don't like this kind of boils back to the very first example i gave about accepting the fact that hey uh, let me explain let's just say you're funny you're good looking and you see somebody that's not funny not good looking right it's just it's not funny not good looking. you hate them because your pride is on a pedestal okay you're like oh i'm the best looking i'm the funniest whatever right it's it's it boils down to the attachment of identification that you have within yourself. So the answer or the root solution here is just, we're no, there's no need to overcomplicate this stuff. You just need to identify the root solution and learn to take care of it, okay? So the what you need to do here is you just need to just accept the fact that, hey, this funniness, attraction, whatever, it's okay if other people don't have it, right? It doesn't make me more valuable Okay, these people are all people too, right? They're not, you know, some lower class people, some whatever, right? They're, they're, we're all, you know, souls living this experience in our own way. Certain superficial aspects of us, right? Even certain mental things like humor and things like that, it's all superficial, right? It's just superficial in an internal way versus an external way. There's a difference between superficial and external. But these things don't make me have any higher value. We are all good, like in our own way. We're all valuable in our own way. We're all, you know, perfect in our own way, I guess you can say, to an extent, okay? So that's it here. So I hope that answers the topic of this video, which is how to tackle hate, 
Okay, I think that's what I'm going to title this. So, yeah, I think that's it for this video. We just hit 10 minutes. If you have any questions or comments, as usual, you can let me know. Uh, and until next time, I'll talk to everyone later. Thank you all very, very much for watching.